What's up, guys? Sorry, I did not have a video or a live stream yesterday. I was just crushed from being at the farm all week and needed some time and some R&R &R with the family. Today, I plan on doing some stuff with you guys. I got a lot to clean up. You guys can see, just got in the car, got a lot of leaves and stuff I gotta take care of today. However, I am running to Micro Center right now to see if there's any of the 5600Xs or 5950. I'm trying to do a, real, a new build. If there's already people lining up for Micro Center when it comes to the 6800 non-XT, 6800 XT, that's supposed to be released this coming Tuesday. So if I need to camp out, I'm gonna camp out, but I'm gonna go scope it right now. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. All right, we'll see if we can get any of the new AMD stuff. Go to Micro Center. One hour later. So they had nothing. And they were saying that, I mean, there's nobody online right now waiting for the 6800s yet. It's Sunday, it's not supposed to come out till Wednesday. So I'm gonna try to swing back out probably tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, and see if there's a line out here and then get camp set up. So we tried, boys. Do some work. All right, guys, I'm sitting here working on some stuff. I was trying to get some of the links set up for the auto notification for Amazon for Bitsby Trippin's site on the new Ryzen stuff, the new 6800 that's coming out from the graphics card standpoint. And I've had some weird issues over the last few days on Chrome, and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on here. So Chrome will auto keep just reloading, right? So I'm trying to just do my normal process here, and you can see it just keeps refreshing, right? So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. So I'll go ahead and here and do a little quick web inspection of like what is going on. So we're gonna go down to more tools over here we're gonna to go to developer tools and if i come into the console you can see this just constant like equivalent to a stack trace so essentially this is showing us the errors that are going on on this page when it keeps refreshing like this so i'm trying to figure out what's going on well really quickly i can see that there's a metamask error here and i'm like what in the heck is going on with metamask so i can't really stop anything. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go into MetaMask. I'm going to manage extensions, just right clicking on this and I'm going to disable MetaMask right now. So I stop that. It stops refreshing. So I can scroll up here and see what in the heck is going on here. You know, as I scroll through this kind of stack trace and figure out pretty quick here that this is more than likely my problem. MetaMask detected in another Web3. MetaMask will not reliably with another Web3 extension. So bottom line, there's a problem here. I'm gonna research what that's causing that issue, but just if you guys get any kind of refresh issue and you have MetaMask installed, um, just disable the one that you have in that current browser. So did the MetaMask fix, got the links set up. Had no luck at Micro Center as you guys seen just a minute ago. Gonna get that thing fired up. I got a lot of leaves to take care of. Then we got a rig to get fully built out. Well, there's already a rig that's built that doesn't work at all and I need to get that in the puppy room today. Typically I wouldn't have a vlog on Sundays, but with not really doing anything yesterday with you guys, I wanted to make sure that we got the six videos into this week. And then into next week is gonna be good because we're gonna go through a lot of the network changes that are going on with a few different coins. We're gonna talk through some Ravencoin changes that are coming up with their funding with Medici Adventures. And we're also gonna talk ETC. I'm gonna start ETC. I'm gonna to try to talk e ETC on Monday to kind of go through the network upgrade that's coming out here in the beginning of December. What's that mean for people that are mining? What's that mean for people that are mining with four gig GPUs, three gig GPUs? A lot going on. We're gonna get into the specifics of that. There it is. That is some, that's the fourth load I've had. This is kind of the burn pit. Yeah, we got a lot going on here. It's windy as crap today, but yeah, she is packed all the way full, getting it done in the house. And one of the things I'm gonna be working with is making sure this rig can get back up and running. So anytime you're working with a rig that you haven't touched in a while, maybe you've had it offline, maybe it hasn't made sense for you to mine, and you're like, I don't know what the status is, it wasn't working last time I turned it off, and you just put it onto a shelf, how do you even start looking at, you know, 
finding out what your issues are and repairing things. And what I usually like to do is don't worry about trying to get all of them working at one time. Like in this particular case, this is an RX 480 machine. This is the, the Republican Gaming Edition, Strix cards, 480s. This has been sitting here for a bit. It's been turned off. It stopped working after a while and it just got powered off and it's just sitting here. So I'm gonna to try to revive this and figure out what's going on. And one of the very first things I usually do as you can see here, this is an old riser. This is back in the day, the four pins. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna replace all the risers, but I'm gonna work out a couple cards at a time, all right? So break the rig down into just the most simplest approach to figure out each of the cards. I will literally just take one card at a time with one riser, make sure that it boots up, find a good setting for it, and then I'll mark with one of these little markers here, these little dry erase markers. I'll just mark that that card is good. It's gonna take you a while. Mind you, this might be a couple hour event for you, but it gives you the confidence, it gives you a plan forward to get through the rig in a reasonable amount of time to make sure that you're in good shape. And you might find really quickly the particular card that was giving you an issue while you turned it off the first time. That's what I'm gonna do with this rig. And then just try one card at a time. The latest version of the OS is set up and just work through it. So those are just some quick tips. I'll pop them up here for just normal rig maintenance if you had one turned off for a while. Completely empty restaurant. We are celebrating my birthday dinner and there isn't a soul in Morton's right now. That's crazy. That is gonna be yummy.